Hi, I'm Rose, a senior front end engineer at Amazon. I've been here for over six years on various teams. I'll be going through some best practices for interviewing at Amazon for the front end engineer and software engineer in test student program opportunities. During your interview, we will be evaluating your knowledge and application of data structures and algorithms, computer science fundamentals. We will expect you to be familiar with hash maps, lists, queues, trees, and other common data structures. And we also want you to know how and when to use them. We want you to be also familiar with writing logical and maintainable code. Interviewers will be looking to see if you can explain your decisions specifically around how and when to use common data structures like hash maps, lists, trees, queues, etc., and the time, space, complexity trade-offs associated with them. For writing logical and maintainable code, we want you to show us that you're making decisions to make code more clean and easier to understand and bug-free. From the technical perspective, the best way to prepare for the interview is to practice different types of data structures and algorithms questions. Don't just know how to do a problem, actually write code to solve it. You can take this a step further and even do some mock interviews with your friends. Try to explain your thought process while you're coding. You should pick a language you're familiar with and stick with it while you practice. We will evaluate the code you write during an interview in live code, as well as give you verbal questions. Ask us some questions. We'll try to rephrase the question or give you some hopefully helpful tips to move you forward. Common pitfall in interviews is staying silent, especially when you're stuck. Let us in on your thought process and maybe write some unoptimized code to start. We'll let you know if we want to see cleaner code or more optimized code, but writing some code is better than no code. Treat the interview almost as a pair programming session. Imagine if we were working with this person, how would you communicate with them? Of course, it's not going to be exactly the same, but I like to frame it that way. Thanks for watching. I hope some of this has been helpful. Good luck on your interview.